Welcome, it's Michael Murray with Benzinga, and I'm here with Jason Matuszewski, the CEO of Biostem Technologies. Jason, always a pleasure to speak with you. How are you doing? Hey, Michael, thanks for having us. Really appreciate it from Benzinga to have us today. Always a pleasure to talk with you guys. Really excited to get into today's topics. Kick us off by talking about what Biostem Technologies is all about. Sure. Uh, Biostem Technologies is a leading innovator focused on harnessing the natural properties of perinatal tissue in the development, manufacture, and commercialization of allografts for regenerative therapies. Our company is focused on manufacturing products that change people's lives, leveraging our proprietary technology, the bioretain method. Terrific. And talk a little bit about the current market for Biostem products. What are you guys seeing in terms of demand out there? We're heavily focused on regenerative medicine for advancing wound care. Um, it, advanced wound care and healing is a dynamic regenerative process that includes highly organized cellular and molecular uh, mechanisms to activate that repair of damaged tissue. And some of these wounds exhibit, you know, uh, impaired healing, um, patients that are over that 65 in age population where and present with diabetes have a hard time healing these types of wounds. Ultimately, these wounds are, are classified as chronic wounds. Um, Non-healing wounds, uh, these chronic wounds affect about three to six million people inside the United States. And like I mentioned before, most of these patients, about 85% of them are 65 and older. Um, our main focus currently is on diabetic foot ulcers. Um, diabetic foot ulcers are about 34 million Americans currently have diabetes. 15 to 25% of those individuals will develop a DFU at some point in their lifetime. Uh, DFUs are open wounds commonly located on the bottom of the foot and can lead to hospitalization. Uh, and there's about an estimation of about 50% of those wounds get infected and 12 to 24% of those patients require lower extremity amputations. And some of the things that we're working on is an initiative is to work with groups like uh, SL Squared, Saving Limbs, Saving Lives, uh, to help promote education in regards to, you know, treating these diabetic foot, foot ulcers, as well as hopefully saving uh, patients to getting to that point where they have to yield to amputation. Amazing. And let's talk about the science and technology side of things, right? What are the perinatal tissue allografts? What's different, more specifically, about your tech compared to the standard of care around you? Sure. So, um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, we're really heavily focused on our unique process, bioretain, um, something that we've been working on over the last eight to 12 months and really honing that in. Um, and that's derived from looking at maintaining our inside the regulatory environment, uh, FDA's 361 guidance, uh, maintaining minimal manipulation of our tissue, and then also making sure that we maintain sterility and safety of our product at this, you know, focusing also, though, at retaining all of those great elements inside the tissue to help drive better outcomes. Um, and that's really what Biotain has been coined off of, is, is looking at ways to process the tissue in a way to yield the most amount of elements, whether it be growth factors, small molecules, uh, that will yield to improving outcomes when the graft is placed on a patient. Excellent. Okay, so now, Jason, from the business side, in your Q3 financials, you saw a 15% increase in gross profit over the same time period from last year. What are the reasons for this? And is this growth going to continue? Yeah, we, so what we've done is we've shifted our focus and, and moved away uh, from a distributor model, uh, a wholesale distributor model, and focused on developing our W2 sales effort, uh, as well as independent sales agency efforts. Um, just recently brought on uh, and hired a new VP of sales for our specific products, uh, Vendage and Vendage AC. Uh, and we're going to start targeting, you know, the private practice market and wound care market, as well as surgical recovery market with uh, the addition of our, our new team leader and building out our W2 and direct sales force. And that's really where we see this huge increase in gross profit uh, due to selling direct to the customer. Um, and then, you know, we're also looking at ways and over the last few months, we're looking at ways to implement some technology, uh, and, which we'll be announcing in the next few uh, quarter, or next two quarters that will help improve efficiency from from a private practice perspective, but then also create better translational outcomes and, and more information to the patient. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Got it. Now, when it comes to the most important advancements in regenerative therapies in the next decade, what's your take here on how things are going to continue to move forward? I mean, we obviously we see a lot of advancement in gene therapy, whether it be in oncology applications, wound care applications. Um, obviously, yeah, also too, you know, focusing on on our niche market, looking at other elements 
inside perinatal tissue that maybe we can apply and go down that 351 or BLA pathway. Um, I, you know, there's so many amazing properties inside perinatal tissue. Groups like Cellulary doing a lot of great work. Um, MyMedics, Organogenesis, all doing some really great work around the use of perinatal tissue and what are the, you know, things that they could look at from a clinical uh, aspect to treat patients. Excellent. And Jason, as a final point, it's our understanding that you announced a partnership with Killcliff FC today. Can you tell us more details about that? Yeah, we're super excited to be partners with Killcliff FC. They're actually just a, a short drive up up the road from our facility. Um, you know, it, you know, being a partner with uh, MMA uh, in general, MMA athletes, whether it be UFC, whether it be Pro Fight League, whether it be Bellator, these guys are subjected to a lot of trauma, right? A lot of trauma wounds and things of that nature. And, you know, to, to get these guys uh, back on the road, whether it's, you know, accidentally getting a trauma wound when they're um, in practice or in camp, and maybe that, that wound ends up causing them to, to push a fight. And, and, you know, obviously this is uh, their revenue stream uh, for their family and, and their livelihood. So, you know, trying to mitigate some of those issues uh, to help make sure that they have a successful camp. On the flip side, uh, having athletes, um, you know, with the use of our product in a topical application, especially, specifically in acute wounds, is trying to limit the amount of scar tissue because if they start building up a significant amount of scar tissue and they end up getting hit uh that opens up and maybe it costs them a fight because that that scar tissue opens up and all of a sudden they have to stop the fight because of a cut so we're really excited about this partnership we got great athletes like michael chandler gilbert burns um on the ufc side gregular rodriguez which just made national news maybe four or five months ago in regards to a massive cut and we were at, had an opportunity to actually help him recover from that and he'd actually be fighting here in january re, real recently so really excited about that on the bellator side athletes like logan storley uh adam borix anthony johnson some really great names to be partnered with and really excited about this partnership absolutely jason as always every time we talk with you a lot of exciting stuff going on at biostem technologies jason matashevsky ceo of biostem thank you so much for being with us here today thanks mike really appreciate it